So basically, just to sum it up and end up this fir first part, uh, people are drinking uh, conventional coffee and milk, which is loaded with uh, antibiotics and all this rendered food that, are, uh, that the cattle are eating. All the pesticides, herbicides, GMOs in the, in the same food. Uh, we're, they are developing inflammation, mucus, toxicity, and sometimes after you explain all of this to people, they say, well, you have to live. What is the point of life without living? And they, they call it living or you have to live to what they're eating, regarding to what they're eating. And it's interesting because you mentioned something in your book that it says, when, but when does living became a lifetime of poor health? So that is, that is, I, uh, that is simple enough to, to understand, but at the same time, it isn't because people, they say they are conscious about this, but a conscious people person cannot be conscious in doing this. So Right. Um, one of the reasons why they associate food and beverages and alcohol and things like that with living is because it's addictive. I mean, it's, it's a, food is more addictive than drugs. It's more of a problem and it kills more people. Same thing with alcohol, same thing with the beverages, the artificial sweeteners, the GMOs, all that stuff. It's not food anymore. I mean, if you look at even the tobacco industry, which they've analyzed over 620 chemicals on each cigarette, that's They're not required, the FDA is not, you know, actually allows people and chemical companies to produce chemicals that are highly addictive in your brain. So what happens is the chem all these chemicals on the food that make it taste good and that make you want it even more and make you feel like depressed when you don't have it, that's part of the problem. I mean, anybody who starts eating pure, live, organic foods for a period of time, then they end up starting to crave those foods. Or starts, it's like people that drink colas all day long. I mean, most people are dehydrated, right? I mean, I would say that very, very few people drink enough water in their body. Actually, we know a lot of people that just hate water, and they won't even drink it. And that's one of the problems you'll see with a lot of... Uh, people that are seeking health care, you know, the proper health care, are not drinking enough water, and that's what we really need inside of our bodies. But after a period of time, you, they actually start liking water, especially with organic apple cider vinegar, which is what I usually recommend, and that's what I drink over a period of time. So it's, I think, the, the philosophy that people have is they the changes that happen in their brain, the feel-good molecules when they eat a heavy meal, it makes them feel good, but it's hard for them to give those things up because they're addicted to the chemicals that are in the food that are actually causing addiction to happen.